There we go. All right, world's slowest red player. World's slowest red player, Hinata, obviously an Izzet fan or Jeskai fan, falls to the uh, connivances. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I'm your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Connive is back. You know, I haven't done anything with Rafine. I've done a little bit of connivance, um, which I did enjoy. But I said, I'm going to do the ultimate Obscura uh, Esper connivance here. Um, and that's what I feel like I've done. Oh, By the way, this lagging that you see here is the game acting up. You see this, how these deck boxes are slow opening. This is not my stream. I don't want to see, don't. I don't want to see a million comments. Jay, why is it so laggy? This is the game. It's not my equipment. <laughs> all right. So this is, you got to write, see how it's all, all laggy? This is the game doing this. Uh, I don't know why. Wizards, as we all know, Wizards of the Coast is a very small, very poor company. They can't afford uh, quality stuff. So it's, you know, it's, they don't have the money for servers. Anyways, <laughs> beyond that, beyond the little bit of a slowness we're going to be having here, the lagginess we're having here. Let's need you to do something for me. Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Or else, well, guys, the like and subscribe will come get you if you don't. He, he'll, he'll rip you up, man. He will absolutely rip you up if you don't do it. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash that villain for all the live stream goodness. We would love to have you there. Um, we have a good time when the stream doesn't collapse um, because my internet is banned. Uh, you can check out our Discord community for all the latest news and information. We're putting all the new Baldur's Gate alchemy spoilers there. Um, plus, you can post your decks, get advice, get help, everything like that. This deck and all the other ones that I built are going to be available down below on my Aether Hub. Um, so please go check that out. You can absolutely go to the Aether Hub and check out all the decks that I built. And of course, we are very happy to announce that our stream and videos are sponsored by Factor 75 by HelloFresh. This is a meal box kit. You do not have to prepare it. It comes already prepared. Fresh, delicious meals. And what's different about these guys? Well, keto, vegan, vegetarian, and of course, low calorie. It is healthy stuff for you. Uh, it is delicious. Uh, a couple of my viewers have ordered it already. A uh, few people have said it is very tasty. So you can check that out, that link in the description below, in case you want to get $120 off your first order. Give it a shot. Why not? Um, okay, so what are we talking about with Connive? Homestead Courage. Um, obviously, this is going to be helping trigger Illuminator Virtual, so they're made for each other. It also, I really, really do like the Vigilance we're going to have here, because we don't have too many creatures. And also the ability to cast two, two spells a turn is going to help with Ledger Shredder. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of connivance on this one. We're going to be throwing a lot of stuff away. This is just going to be a key card in, in our uh, arsenal here. Because even if we do throw this one away, it's got the flashback for one. And with connivance, sometimes you're going to have to throw away a card. Consider a little bit of card draw is going to go a long way, especially when we could put something in our graveyard. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard, draw a card. Um, a little bit of card draw is going to be extremely useful, especially um, on the second spell, making sure we get that flow of stuff into our hand. Now, guys, I'm sure you know what this was. It is already. Illuminator Virtuoso, the absolute mad lad. Uh, human Rogue, whenever Luminate Virtuoso becomes the target of a spell you control, it connives. What does conniving do? Have you even used the mechanic yet? Uh, what does conniving do is basically when it have a creature connive, draw a card, then discard a card. If you discarded a non-land card, put a 1-1 counter on that creature. Uh, so anytime you discard any other card besides a land, it will put a 1-1 counter. Increasing the power exponentially of a double striking creature is going to be very, very deadly. Um, so, we're also going to have to be discarding cards from our hand and we're going to be drawing cards. Don't worry about discarding. We're going to have a few tricks up our sleeve so we can play things from the graveyard. Namely, Twinblade Geist. That's a great card to throw away into your graveyard. Why? Because it becomes Twinblade Invocation. Equipped creature has double strike. So we can play the Twinblade Geist and we can start conniving it and building it up with Homestead Courage. We can do basically the same thing we do with Illuminated Virtuoso with Twinblade Geist. 
but we can also, when it dies, or if we have to discard it for a connivance, uh, we can do Ixquimble Avocation and put it on one of our flyers and then have a double striking flyer. Valorous Stance is gonna be another useful removal that we're gonna have. We're gonna need a lot of run, a lot of removal and a lot of protection. Um, target creature gains indestructible into the other turn. Destroy target creature with toughness four or greater. Uh, it's going to be really useful for killing those big ones as an instant and also target creature gaining indestructible virtuoso going in targeting him he'll connive again get more powerful and he's indestructible very useful ledger shredder love this guy bird advisor uh, he is a legal eagle um, that's why he's a ledger shredder uh, one three flying for one blue and one whenever a player casts their second spell each turn ledger shredder connives um that's going to be really, really useful because it's going to let us get our card draw. It's going to let us uh, really start hitting things that we want, throwing away stuff. And it's going to be a nice flyer blocker. Security Bypass. Now, this is a very, very deadly card that we can do here with Illuminator. Security Bypass and Illuminator are unbelievably scary together. Actually, I would even say put one less, sh sh if you want to go crazy, you want to really do something nuts, put one less Ledger Shredder, put one more Security Bypass. Why? Um, this is Enchanted Creature. As long as Enchanted Creature is attacking alone, it cannot be blocked. Enchanted Creature has, whenever this player deals combat damage, it connives. So targeting a creature with this spell will may have, uh, will may make it connive. Um, again, and will make it even more powerful. How, are you tired of me saying the word connive yet? not yet uh and it's unblockable so if you have a five five unblockable illuminator double striker going in uh and they're like oh i'm just gonna kill that well guess what valor stance says is indestructible 10 damage going in it hits it's gonna connive again you throw something and then it's gonna do one more damage on top of that uh unbelievably terrible any kind of double strike that you can't block when all that all that freaking uh uh all damage is just going right to the head man there's not much they can do about that. That's that's really going to mess you up. Two Storm Chaser Drakes for a little bit more card draw here. Uh, I'm going to show you what the what the deal with with all the extra card draw is. We kind of have a late game card draw tricks. Early game, you see it's kind of an Azorius aggro in the early game. It's kind of uh, a Basilisk here. We're kind of mixing, not Basilisk, um, Chimera here. as uh, a Chimeric deck. We kind of fuse together an early game Azorius to a late game Esper. Um, whenever we type becomes the target of a spell, uh, we control, draw a card. That card draw is going to be very useful. We could put Twin Blade Geist on it, of course. Ledger, uh, we could put Valorous Stance. Um, any of these will help boost it up, and we'll get the extra card, um, which is going to be useful. Two Obscura Charms. Uh, choose one. Return target multicolored creature permanent with a mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Not too useful. It is good for Rafine or Toulouse, but that's pretty much it. Um, counter target instant or sorcery spell, extremely useful. Um, and of course, destroy target creature planeswalker with mana value 3 or less, fairly useful. So, Obscure Charm is fine. It's not great, but it's okay. Uh, we're really going to be backing that up with Void Rend. We're going to go four of those. That is one of the most brutal destruction cards we have. Uh, if you're able to play Esper with Void Rend, man, play it. Can't be countered, destroy target online permanent. So, that's anything in the game but a land, and it can't be stopped unbelievably brutal removal there guys absolutely worth if you're an esper player or anything close to those colors absolutely um absolutely brutal removal card for you so here is rafine this is the guy right here rafine scheming seer uh black blue and white esper aka obscura sphinx demon flying ward one whenever you attack target attacking creature connives x time where x is the number of creatures attacking so if you swing in you can get a connivance on target creature which could be illuminator or twin blade geist and you can absolutely jack up the amount of damage these double strikers are going to do you have to draw a bunch of cards and then get rid of a bunch of cards but guys what can we do in the back end to help with all that conniving what can we do to bonus that out uh rafine is a very powerful creature one four and can get even more powerful uh with that little bit of extra ward extremely cool but what can we do man i don't like discarding all these cards i'm going to be going through my deck well here you have to lose clever conductor uh human rogue whenever to lose clever conductor enters the battlefield it connives all right um whenever you discard one or more cards exile them from your graveyard and then with two when to lose dies uh put exile cards with it into their owner's hand so whenever you have to discard exile them from your graveyard and when she dies you get all of them back in your hand even if you didn't choose to ex uh, discard them if somebody's playing a discard deck against you you could actually run to lose clever conductor here and she will just basically keep all the cards under her exiled and when she dies 
Um, which honestly, with that three damage, they're gonna have to block her eventually. Uh, especially if you put some like Twin Blade Geist on her and start double striking her in, you get all those cards back. So you're not gonna lose as much as you think you do with art with um to lose out. Uh, you're gonna get all those discarded cards out there. We already talked about Void Ren, but here is the Piez de Resistance. That's why we have all of this late game card draw. We have the Gain and Drain. You know I love me some Gain and Drain. One black, blue, white, and one legendary creature, Cephalopod Advisor. Whenever uh, you draw a card, target opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. Unbelievably useful, man just unbelievably good here because all of these connivances that we've been building up to guys all this draw and discard we've been building up to is going to be power enhanced it's going to be feeding us life and draining life from all of them so that means every time we start drawing a card they're losing so that's going to be at least once a turn but when all of these connives go together we can swing in and just drain them out with rafine and um, hitting Virtuoso on that, and then hitting Virtuoso if we sneak in with Security Bypass. We can kill people just through that. That slow, steady flow of cards into our hand, drawing and discarding, drawing and discarding, will eventually just put them into an absolute state where they cannot escape from, especially with the amount of double strike and flying damage we have potentially going in. So that's kind of your late game trickery here with the Esper going in and then the early game aggression. So really kind of a versatile deck here as long as you get a good draw and your mana base isn't too effed up. Uh, one Cave of the Frost Dragon, one Edge Ganjigo, two Plains, one Island, one Otawara, one Hive of the Eye Tyrant, one Swamp, Deserted Beach, Henge Gate, Bright Climb, Shattered Sanctum, Clear Water, Shipwreck, Rafine's Tower. Do you want more Rafine's Tower, I don't feel like we really need him with all this other stuff. Sure, you can spend the rares on him, but I'd rather you be spending the rares on something else that you can get useful um, uh, you, uh, later. You do have the cycling on that. Nova6EF, welcome. First time streamer there, coming in at the end of the shakedown break then there. Welcome to the show. Um, you get the first time streamer shout out. Uh, we have our lovely gargoyle pet here. 20 creatures all over the place. Humans and rogues. A lot of humans and rogues and advisors, oddly enough. 10 instants, 3 sorcery, 3 enchantments, 24 lands total. Could you get away with 23? Maybe, maybe not. We have our uh, obscure cards on the back. Um, let's take a look at our alternate view here. All right, let's do this. There we go. Uh, that's what we're looking at there. One, a lot of stuff in two, and the only one, a decent amount in three, that's our espers right there, our obscures, and then Queza coming in at a four. She is our only four drop. Pretty cheap, but we need a lot of land, land base, so that's why we have all this variety in the land base right there. That's what we're going to be running. Two cards in the sideboard. I did run Patch Up a little bit in this as kind of an alternate to Obscure a Charm. I do like Patch Up, but I don't feel like it was really pulling off its weight here. So you might see it in some games because it was kind of swapping in and out, but that's what is in the sideboard right there. So let's get into it, boys. Uh, let's, find some, uh, let's find some good games to get into, and let's just start ripping it up, man. Um, still in Diamond, I've just kind of been experimenting. I haven't really been pushing on plan on Mythic. I don't really want to hit Mythic. It gets kind of boring for me once I do that, so I kind of wait. Um, but maybe we'll push Mythic later. I don't know. I'm having fun in Diamond. Let's go, guys. Bird B with Sp Spara Falco right there. That's a cool guy right there. You'd be miserable just playing against that. That's the idea. That's a misery business. Uh, that's a biz misery business deck right there, my guy. You're not supposed to feel good playing it. You're supposed to feel bad. Real bad. Put that out. Tell something there. Ravine's Tower. Let's put down <coughs> Ledger Shredder. <coughs> Swing in. There we go. There we go. What is he foretelling here? Demon Bolt. Look at that. Fantastic. Rabbit Battery. Okay. And the uh, Ronin. Swing, swing.
So let's do this. Let's consider the following. Uh, yeah, I'll take I'll take security bypass for sure. And that way I can throw a Quezza embodiment of Agaries out. Okay. Thundering Raiji, very nice. Swing them both in. No blocks, I will take the hits. Okay, it's gonna be that. We're gonna bypass. Knives. Um, how's about we throw down a Quezza? Let's throw down a Twin Blade Geist. And let's homestead it again. Uh, probably a Storm Chaser Drake we can throw out of there. Let's not do both. Let's do one of them. Carbango. Next hit. Throw... Uh, that away. Kerbango. There we go. Now that's how that's supposed to work. Fantastic. Discard an on-land card. Um, I think we're going to get rid of Quezza. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this land. Good game. He said, no, thank you. He said, I, I got the message. I got the message, buddy. All right. Good stuff there. Good stuff. There we go. Barrel in. Let's keep it going, guys. Yeah, that's the problem with red. You you once once you get out of burn range, you're kind of you're much safer than any other color because uh, it's very hard to hit you at that point. All right, let's put down Rafine's Tower. Let's do this one. Take said, no thank you. I've seen Illuminator Virtuoso. I don't want any more. You got the turn two Virtuoso. I'm done. Yeah. X Kincaid Aridex. Oh, that's an edgy name right there. I love edgy names. Oh, too proud to show your true face. What's that smell? It's blood. Sweet blood. Kincaid is coming in with white. Vob. Let's do Otawara. Let's do this one. Lunark. And a Lunark Aspirin. Just classic here. No blocks. Mm. Swing in, very nice. Um
void around that. Swing in. Pop. Pop. There we go. Well, we certainly are going to need more mana here. Three is not going to cut it. And a Luminous Phantom. Let's do this. Uh, let's put down Twin Blade Geist. Okay, at least we can put down some more cards next time. Good lord. And Aura. Oh, Skyclave Herifan. Very nice. Uh, Ledger Shredder. Knives. Let's get rid of Storm Chaser Drake. Uh, let's get rid of Security by. Well, I don't want Security Bypass. Let's get rid of Tolu's Clever Conductor. Already telling me good game. Is he gonna hit me with the spellbinder? Okay, who's he gonna hit? Valor stance, good job there. Not bad. Already hitting me with the GG. Gets one. Who's gonna get it? Block that, boof. There we go. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down this. We're gonna put down that. Connive, we want to throw that away. Throw that away. Connive. Throw that away. Throw that away. Seven. Close one. Close one. Let's throw that away. Close one. This, the hitting of my Valorous stance really did hurt. A streamer named Sadine. It was a bit of an... Er I mean, he did GG me, but it, that was a bit premature. I, he, I could have been running a, a fucking Doom Scar and he would have been shit out of luck, but... Um, it was a bit of a premature GG. One more and we're done. Yikes. That's not great, but we'll do it. I do watch the boys. Yeah. Hinata. Oh, Hinata 9999. Q. 
keep. Let's drop that. Oh my god, this guy's gonna make me scoop just out of he's playing a red deck slow, man. What kind of maniac plays a red deck slowly, man? Uh oh man. This guy's gonna have to step into my office because he's freaking fired, dude. This dude is freaking fired. Blue deck, I get. I get blue deck, man. Play your blue deck as slow as you want. Okay, he doesn't understand how that works. Yeah, blue a blue player trying out something new. Let's trap the twin blade. Working towards is it, yeah. Just gonna add a splash of blue into everything, you know. Well, my goodness, guys, we have the worst of the world's first slow red player. Amazing. Amazing, guys. We really, we really onto something here, man. We really onto something here. Sticky fingers. Oh, he can swing in with this one. This is amazing stuff here, guys. This is this is groundbreaking stuff. Groundbreaking. World's first slow red player. He's got priority on so many different things here and he has no clue what to do. Okay, he's going to create a treasure token. Okay, he can sacrifice it. Discard. Let's uh, just draw a card right there. Okay. Gets to draw a million new cards. Fantastic. Okay. All right. He's so got something to blast out. Illuminator. Maybe, maybe not. He doesn't. He's going to look at a bunch of different options here. He's going to look at things. He's going to look at it. Look at it. Look at it. He's going to look at it. There he goes. He's got a pit crew with... Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's pretty good, man. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's calling in to see what... Uh, he's calling in to see what people think. We might be on beyond blast range here with a six. Patchwork automaton. We're probably beyond blast range here. He's gonna reconfigure. Are you gonna rush in with that guy or are you just gonna slam him into me? Alright, he's gonna say no. Connive. I met a man while going to connive. All right. 
He's dead. There we go. All right, world's slowest red player. World's slowest red player, Hinata, obviously an Izzet fan or Jeskai fan, falls to the uh, connivances. Very nice. Yeah, that guy must have been playing by committee, man. He must have been. He must have been playing by vote, man. He was putting out Twitch Twitch votes every time there. All right. go a fox very nice this lagging is really getting on my nerves uh that's paradabo and his wife yeah i know man I know, man. I have to get up early as hell, too. A pirate song. We're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lie around. We're the pirates who don't do anything. We don't do anything. Well, I've never been to Phoenix and I've never been to Boston and I've never been anywhere at all. And I never win and I never win the Boston in the fall. Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lie around. Yeah, I know I did really good on that song. Thank you guys. I did really good. Win con of this deck is to uh, two. We have card draw, drain and gain with damage over the top and a little bit of double strike. So we got a little bit of splash of everything here. The nuke. It's the nuke, everybody. The nuke. All right, let's do this. We met a man while going to connives, and this man had seven wives. Every wife had seven sons. Every son had seven sacks. Every sack had seven cats. You know what I'm saying? Let's get rid of security bypass. Oh, discard two cards. Quezza, right there. There we go. And... Oh no, it's Inferno. Oh, man. Black Sun Zenith, how you doing, man? MTGA is rigged. Yeah, probably.
Stand back, everybody. I'm going to morb. I'm going to morb, everybody. Okay? Just stand back. Nah, he's dead anyway. It doesn't really matter. Yep. I am really looking forward to the new Alchemy set, man. I really want some new stuff. Uh, I really want some new stuff to play with. For real, though. Um, I am really looking for some new stuff to play with. All right, that worked pretty good as far as scheming. Scheming, refining, and scheming. Uh. Where'd y'all move to, uh, Grim? Opponent goes first. Let's keep that. Inquiring minds want to know where'd y'all, where'd you guys move to? Let's drop agonies. Well, I tried to sign up for their. Um, pre-release program they haven't got back to me yet so if they get back to me i will let you know i'd love to pre-release some stuff for you my dudes professor kraken this is a very well educated type of squid um so be aware of that Best of three. You could try best of three with mono black, and uh, that can be helpful sometimes. Necro duality. Non token zombie enters. This is going to die. Target non land permanent. Okay. So let's hit the Vorb rend. No attacks. You can't afford alchemy. Wow, man. Jeez. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to have to school somebody else. You realize alchemy, you require maybe like 10 wild cards total. Like, to, to get into it, to get a good alchemy deck. Like, alchemy is not a different set. It's a force multiplier of an existing set. Like, it, it's, you don't need to build an entire deck. You add maybe four versions of two different alchemy cards in there. And that's, you're pretty much, uh, you're pretty much good to go. Um, like, I, I have uncommon only alchemy. I have, I have cheap budget alchemies. You literally only need five uncommons to make a competitive alchemy deck. I have, uh, I have ridiculously good alchemies. Um, on my channel, they, they they do not require an enormous investment. Uh, I there's this there's a narrative going around, and listen, you can say a lot of stuff about alchemy, but expensive, it is not. Um, it is uh, it it really isn't, especially with all the free alchemies they give you, like. You can usually get up to free ten free alchemy packs every every season. Um, that's pretty easy to do. All right, let's do let's see blue extra blue. Let's do that. Stand back, everybody. I'm gonna morb. Let's kill that guy. Um, let's do that. She moved to Michigan, and we don't live together. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh, 
most big apologies for her moving to Michigan, man. I, I know what that's like. It's a, it's a hard day. It's a hard day when you have to move to Michigan. Before you go, oh, Jay's crapping on Michigan. Yeah, I, I'm crapping on Michigan. I've, I'm from Michigan. I know exactly what it's like. Um, cancel tax, no tax. Oh, I thought you had a wife, Lord Grimm. For some reason, I thought you had a wife. You live in the UP? Okay, well, he knows what I'm talking about then. Okay. Tox real. Oh, that was his that was his scheme all along. That was his scheme all along was to get a tax real out. Okay. He hard cast the tax real. He did. He did. I'm not a Lions fan. I do not care for any sort of sports ball. Um, I'm pretty lucky I'm not a Lions fan. Probably the only Michigan sports team that I like is... Uh, the Red Wings. But they inject that into your blood when you're born in Detroit, so they give you they give you a Red Wing shot. They give you a Red Wing shot, make you eat a whole bowl of Chelly's chili and uh it's uh it pretty much it's in there for good. It's in the bone, it's in the blood. The Wretching Dead. This is not a good hand. Let's mull that. Let's mull that over like delicious mulled wine. Let's keep six. Uh, security bypass. I'm going to go with... I'm going to get rid of Patch Out for right now. Let's do that. What's with the... What's with the freaking... Uh, the lag, guys? I'm really not liking this lag here. We are just laggy McLaggerson here. I don't like it. And I feel like I'm going to need to morb here in a minute. Let's do that. Target a creature, which is to draw a card. It's another Vorb Rend. And we're going to swing. Do... We're gonna throw it's all the Vorbrens. Um let's throw one of them away. Yeah, I've been to the UP. I, you know, I've never been to the UP. Um I heard it's very nice. I'd love to go up there in the wintertime and maybe go to a cabin up there to get away from everything, but I'm originally from Detroit, Metro Detroit area. Um that's where I first played the first 
game of Magic cards was in the greater Detroit area. Um, okay, we got a discard. We got a little discard action here. Um, discard a card. We do not need to edge Ganjgo. We do need some creatures. That is going to be effective to be able to get some creatures here. That's going to be something we're going to need there. So he's probably going to activate the Revealing Eye. Alright. Uh, decline. We'll take the three damage. We're going to have to... Vo Ooh, okay. Okay. We're going to have to Vorbrend her. No attacks. Okay, he's getting some mono black gelatinous cube. Does he forget to tap? Uh, does he forget to lantern last time? Decline. Oof! My God, this this is not good. Um, You never go full Tegrid. You know, um, I just was talking to somebody who didn't know what that was a reference to. Uh, invoke. Oh, look at this. Boom, look at that. And I actually just watched that movie again the other day. Look at the top card of your library. Yeah, I want that in my graveyard. Man, I've drawn some garbage here, man. I've drawn some garbage. I've drawn every freaking spell I have in the whole world. And, uh... A sacrifice not land permanent. He gets to take it. Sacrifice. That's no reason to do that. I swing in. Yeah. I just look at this, man. I just I just drew garbage the whole game, man. I didn't. I hit two creatures. Like, damn. Uh, next, GG. Yeah, I just hit garbage the whole garbage draws the whole game. Oh, but Jay, don't you need card draw? I had a ton of card draw, and I still drew garbage off the top. Um, this deck has a lot of spells to enable it, but I'm not a hundred percent sure we want um, security bypass. We might want more considers. Well, security bypass isn't bad. Um, but yeah, I just drew into garbage, man. And he discarded pretty much all my good plays there. Uh, Opponent goes first. That's not a bad hand. It's a little a little mana heavy. Okay, so he's giving me the option here. Let's consider. Let's consider the following. Uh, Quesa Agony. If, yeah, we will take Quesa Agony. All right. He's going to put down... All right, he's running a Rafine too, so let's put down Ledger Shredder. Why am I lagging so much? Void rent. Oh, shakedown heavy. That's a big surprise. Um, so let's put down Toulouse, clever conductor, connive. Uh, let's put down Stuart Fiend's Tower, exiled. 
boom, there we go. How's the sound and picture, everybody, by the way? Blue is too complicated. It's too much too complicated for the engine to uh to to calculate. Master of Winds, look at that. Oh, it's a car draw. Oh, not a bad ad. Um Interesting. Okay. Clearwater pathway is gonna be black or blue. Hmm. two-year badge it will not give me two-year badges until i make partner so um i'm gonna need 75 average views a night for a month straight to make partner which i don't think is feasible right now but uh hey that's me that's me though I was hoping to have made partner two years, but, uh, you know, I don't stream Valorant or uh, another game that is super, super cool, like Valorant. Yeah, those are bots, so that's what that is, in case you're wondering what that was. Those are bots. Um... Let's Vorbren that. Counterspell? Probably. That also is a big help. If you've got those, you're going to do all right for yourself. Um, I, I know it's... Listen, it's. I'm not happy about that. I don't have to... Uh, um, I, I'm really not happy that that's the case. I wish it was different. Um, but unfortunately it, it is kind of the truth. Um, it's the awful truth. Um, that, that, and I'm not saying you're guaranteed success if you have that, but it certainly doesn't hurt. <laughs> it certainly does not hurt if that's the case. Um... I have seen people new to the game in six months do what it took me a year, or not even in three months, do what it took me a year to probably get. Like, they did it in about four times the speed. Um, uh... So we're going to do a hyper connive here. Drop. <laughs> I appreciate that, Lady Paradambo. There we go. It's going to connive again, and we throw the Rafine away. Yeah, I'm going to, um, I am going to, uh, eventually do the, uh, whatchamacallit. I do eventually want to do that, uh, that whole, uh, VTuber thing, man. I think I, um, um, I might get a VTuber model. I might get, like, a little, little skull or Grim Reaper guy or something like that. Something that, uh, something that, something that's cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, that's also part of it is that you do get some of these, uh, um, you get crazier streams that just, people just do nothing and they're super successful. It's, uh, part of it is kind of that you hit this, uh, you hit an inflection point with popularity that people are watching you because you're popular, um, you know, I 
For Honor doesn't have a single content creator of a note that's not a dude. Interesting. Very interesting. So we're going to draw and we're going to hit that out. We're going to pay the ward, auto pay. Boom. And then we're going to swing in. Boof. Got him like that. Got him like that. I bet my Rafine against your Rafine that my Rafine's a better Rafine than your Rafine. That's what I bet. Is the, so the guy has not woken up in 20, 21 days because that sounds like he's dead. Uh, sleeping for 21 days sounds like he's dead. Um, yeah, I tried playing... Um, I played for honors. It was on Game Pass. I did not care for it. Uh, the skill gap in that game, trying to get in it now... I mean, the, the single player was decent. Like, it was kind of boring and repetitive. But this, the current skill gap is uh, um, is is rough, man. There There is a huge, huge skill gap. Um, mulligan. Keep. Uh, Ledger Shredder, consider patch up. Let's get rid of Fab. Patch, patch up has not been doing a lot of work. Um... How many patch? We got two patch ups in there. They might go the way of the they might go away the dodo real soon. All right, Ledger Shredder. You probably would have gotten a lot of views streaming that, lady. Uh, you probably would have gotten a lot of views doing that. And Druksar said, no thank you, man. He said, I'm good. I don't have it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Druksar. He plays Escape from Tarkov, and then he plays for like 15 hours, then sleeps for a few hours, then starts back up again. So the funniest thing, Escape from Tarkov, um, has been described as a video game for people who hate having fun in video games. Um, I believe, am I vaguely hitting it on the head? You might know more about Tarkov than me. Uh, um. All right, guys, we're going to wrap that one up right there, guys. Um, a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of tweaking. But I think we got it to where we want it. It's probably the probably my take on the best connive deck. Don't know if I want to go back into uh, Esper. I'm kind of Espered out. I hope you're not too Espered out for me as well. Um, but uh, either way, uh, I had a fun time though. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that Baldur's Gate stuff. So until next time, guys, I've been Jay Villain. And you've been great. Bye-bye.